adults. The thing is, districts don't have to test for lead. There's no law requiring they do. That's tragic. You know, you don't want the kids to get sick or anything. Some districts do the test voluntarily, <laughs> like Guilford County Schools did just this month. The results just in and pretty concerning. Keep in mind the EPA has a health recommendation of zero lead exposure. Even at levels of five or greater, um, kids will get cognitive delay. Allen J Elementary just tested right at 20, Fraser Elementary 45, and Southeast Guilford Middle School 194. Legislators say that's really concerning, considering the effects lead can have on young minds. Causing a lowered IQ or a risk for hyperactivity or attention deficit disorder. Now North Carolina lawmakers from both sides of the aisle, including several representatives from our area, are vowing to push a bill this upcoming session that would require schools to test for lead. Protecting the kids is, is certainly mission critical. You know, if you want to take things into your own hands, you can. You can buy these kits. I got this one from Walmart for like 14 bucks. Looks like we're good here at NBC Charlotte, thankfully. By the way, those Guilford County schools with the high levels already been replaced and remedied. So that's good news there as well. Reporting live tonight, Savannah Levins, NBC Charlotte. Savannah, thank you for that report. And new tonight, a local high school principal suspended with less than a month left of summer vacation. The Herald Citizen reports CMS currently investigating a situation involving Hopewell High School principal Dino Giziano. He has been suspended with pay and officials will appoint an interim principal during the investigation. Now, we're still working to find out the details, but the district did say that it is, quote, not related to matters involving any student. Giziano had worked for CMS since 2005. We are putting you on alert tonight as we speak. Counterfeiters are trying to scam Hamilton fans. Tickets going on sale early this morning for the Charlotte performance, and already there's an urgent warning. According to experts, criminals are already creating fake websites and fake Hamilton 